The Port of Ponce in Puerto Rico celebrated Armed Forces Day with the arrival of Army Reserve soldiers from the 481st Transportation Company Heavy Boat from Port Wainipa, Ventura, California. The crew is participating in Translots 2013. The boat side of this is where we're moving cargo from Florida down here to Puerto Rico and from Puerto Rico back to uh, Cape Canaveral, Florida, um, just to give the uh, Transportation Terminal Battalion a chance to train their soldiers on movement tracking, cargo loading, load plans, and things like that. Training soldiers on shore recognize as important. This is equipment that someone else needs um, that's deploying or, you know, that needs to accomplish a mission. This mission holds additional meaning to the 481st. With this mission, it's, it's not necessarily a, a, a training mission. It's actually a validation for this crew for the simple reason they're getting ready to go to the Persian Gulf. Well, I mean, the training's valuable for the Army because we, the watercraft, actually have a wartime mission. And we do, we do this exact same thing in theater. We move cargo, we move uh, equipment to and from. We handle most of the reset program in theater, handle damaged equipment. Performing these multiple goals during Translots 2013 displays the commitment to fiscal responsibility by the Army Reserve. We're saving money by using our own vessels. And every time we're doing this, we're doing it with our own people. We're doing it with Army people that are contracted to do this. Despite the real world impact of this operation, Staff Sergeant Hill shares why he's a boat operator for the Army Reserve. Oh yeah, it's way more fun to drive. I do the maintenance during the week because it's a good job and it's important and I like to get it done, but it's, it's significantly more fun and more rewarding to get out, get the boat underway, and do what you're trained to do. And, and that, that's a very rewarding thing. Sergeant First Class Walter Talens, Port of Ponce, Puerto Rico.